light that surrounds me If we hold ourselves together we'll go far Hey guys, Yudif Essentials here. So today I'll be using always cardboard that I had at home to make this beautiful wall clock that I saw and loved so much. Now the first thing that I'll do is cut the board to the size that I'll be needing for the project. I got this mirror from the Dollar Tree and I'll be using just the frame. I cut two boards, one bigger than the other, with equal length. Then I'm gonna trace the smaller board on the bigger board. The next thing that I'll do is take the mirror frame and trace that in the middle of the larger board. I'll be carving out the square that's in the middle. This is still the larger board. Now I want to make a curve with it, so I'm going to fold it first to make it easy for me to make a curve with the board. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I opened it up and placed it on the smaller board and it was too high. So now I'm going to reduce it on both sides. These are the final measurements for both boards. Now I'll be gluing both boards together starting with the sides. For the middle part, I'll insert a board and then trace out the shape, cut it, and then glue it on. This is covered. Now I'm going to be covering the top and the bottom. I got this leather fabric from Joanne Craft Store and that's what I'll use to cover the body of the clock. I'll be making a hole here and then gluing the fabric to the board.
When I was done, I used the frame that I took out from a Dollar Tree mirror and spray painted it navy blue. And then I took a cake platter and cut it to the size that would fit inside the frame and made a hole in the middle for the clock machine. This is the acrylic paint that I'll use to make the pattern on the board. I'm just making large curved strokes for this pattern and it is much better to do acrylic pouring for a better paint effect. Now I didn't have a lot of paint for that so I decided to just make my own pattern like this. Remember the hole in the middle is for the clock machine. Now because I don't want the thickness of the paint to affect the hands of the clock, I had to go over again to reduce the thickness of the paint. I'm also going to be making the curves longer to make it look similar to the picture. Because the paint now is not so thick, I'm going to let it dry for 3 hours. This is the frame that I painted. Now I'm going to be inserting the painting that I just made inside. I won't be able to put the clock machine directly behind like this because of the board that's here at the bottom. So I'm going to create a hole at the back where I'll be gluing the clock machine. On the clock machine, it already has a provision for hanging. Now I'll be covering the top with a protective layer and I'll be using Mod Podge. I used a little piece of a paper towel to make sure the clock machine does not have Mod Podge on it. I'm going to be adding gems to the body of the clock. The sides still look white because the Mod Podge is not totally dry there, but the middle is dry. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting on my clock hands, starting with the hour hand. Then the minute hand and the second hand. Now this is the final result and I really love the look. It is nice to know that instead of throwing the pack for a mirror, it was cardboard and then I used it to make a wall clock for myself. I later added gems around the frame just to see what it was going to look like. Now these gems are temporary because I'm still checking it out. I don't know if I'm going to leave it there yet. Let me know in the comment section below if you like it with the gems or without the gems. This was a quick and easy DIY and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like it and share it with your friends and families. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other DIY videos that are linked in the description box below. Do check them out and don't forget to click on the subscribe button.